All right, and what's up, everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about a game called Expeditions Viking. Uh, it's a very interesting strategy game, I think. Um, and I'm actually surprised that not too many people actually picked this up when it first came out. So I am going to recommend this game for today, um, especially if you're into XCOM or Divinity. This game has a lot of similarities between those two games. So one of the main reasons I enjoy this game is mainly because the combat is fresh and challenging. And the AI um, actually put up a fucking challenge, which is uh, very different from uh, a lot of strategy games I play. Sometimes the AI is just fucking absolutely retarded. And in this game, it's actually nice to say that the AI uh, does put up quite a significant challenge. Also, the uh, development company did a very good job writing the story. Uh, none of the lines feel forced. And some of the things that contextually make sense in the historical setting, like kings not wanting to pay attention to you because you are a fucking barbarian savage, do make sense with historical context. And I think that's a genuinely good part about the game, honestly. And with the storyline, you also have the option of doing several routes that you would like to do. You can be a raider, uh, you can be a trader and trade goods, or you can be a diplomat, and you can try and earn the trust of one of the English Isles' many kings to assist you in fighting off the main villain. Uh, his name is Skull, Skull Cleaver, and he is the central uh, antagonist of the story. He is trying to stake a claim on your territory, and you have to go out to the English Isles and gain power, gain glory, gain goods and try and find a way to rebuke his claim um, by gaining power, by gaining resources, and by gaining prosperity. Um, all within historical context. Um, this is all fictionalized, of course, but some of these events did take place even though they are in fictionalized locations. So what I want to talk about the combat real quick about is that even though things may seem overly apparent on how to win combat, it's not always the best option. Um, thinking things through overly and trying to save people in combat can sometimes get them killed here. Um, and I found out that in some cases, rushing all of your characters into the line of battle is sometimes the best plan, which wouldn't become overly apparent if you're a strategy game player, which I had a lot of issues with. Um, because when your character is up up their ass in combat typically they cannot perform actions besides attacking that character because if they move without having a special ability they will be attacked and they could suffer massive damage from trying to run away from your characters um, which is a very nice aspect of this game I, I think it gives it a little bit more depth in combat so basically the gist of it is that if you over strategize you can end up getting yourself killed in this game and that is something new. I'm not used to that in strategy games where if you over strategize, you run the possibility of thinking too much and causing your people even more harm. You don't see that a lot in um, strategy games these days. A lot of it's just like if you overcomplicate things and if you over overly think about everything, you'll be okay because it, it makes it easy. It makes it really easy. But giving yourself space from your opponents gives them more chances to attack you and to fuck up your people. And I think it's nice that this has uh, that added on to it. So with this last little bit right here on my video, I want to talk about some of the things that I had issues with with this game. Um, they're very small and minute compared to what I actually enjoyed about this game. And they do not take anything away from my overall review of how I feel about this game. I still recommend it, but these are issues um, nonetheless. And I will start off by saying that I experienced no fatal crashes while playing this game. No crashes whatsoever. So this game runs very, very well. I wanted to say that before I start talking about the flaws, of course. Okay, so first off, um, this game does seem slightly lopsided to favor the enemy, no matter what difficulty you're playing on. Uh, I started off at median difficulty, but found that the game was too hard for me, and uh, it was challenging in a way that I did not enjoy. So I reduced the difficulty down to easy. I really didn't notice any substantial difference. Um, it seemed like the enemy had a higher percentage of getting just like luck-based things better than I did, 
And that was really frustrating how these AI characters could land shots that I otherwise could not, and they seemed to do it with more frequency than I could. Um, minor annoyance, but I still got through the game just fine that way. Um, I've also noted that um, in a couple cases, enemies could shoot literally through walls um, in certain areas, in certain maps. They didn't do it in other places, but in certain areas, I don't know if like it's a small glitch. Like the last battle, um, when you're there on the Palisades in the front, I know they're on a higher plane, but they were literally shooting through their fucking wall. I didn't get it on video, I wish I did, but I found that to be very annoying that they could shoot through walls, but I couldn't shoot them. Um, I know they were high on higher ground, but in technicality, if, if they're all the way back behind the ramparts shooting at me, they should not be able to fucking hit me. Come on, let, let's be fucking serious, people. That's fucking stupid. Uh, I also had a problem with the ending. Uh, the ending um, just felt kind of rushed, and I, I didn't enjoy it. It came out of nowhere, you ended it, and it ends, it's, it's, it's most I could say, it didn't leave me feeling warm like I just accomplished something, it made me feel cold, like, well, fuck, what am I supposed to do now? And then it takes you to the title screen, like, come on, you can do better than that, than a cutscene with shitty character models, like, have someone do a fucking, like, even, like, a painting, like a mural, like, mural, like, set pieces that show different enemy, or not enemy, a fucking, uh, different character outcomes. That would be nice. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to release some DLC that adds more to the end game, uh, adds a little bit more content to the middle or something, because the ending was bad. It, it was really bad. I didn't much care for it. I felt like it was ended abruptly and they rushed it. I, I felt like the entirety of the game I spent 50 hours doing it and then the ending and it came and none of the stuff that I did felt like it had any impact on the end game at all, which was kind of shitty made me feel. They also could do with um, updating the animations a bit. Every single situation they use the same animation. Um, if you take someone out before battle and you just like stab them or kill them in a sneaky way, it does the same forest animation that looks really fucking stupid. Um, I know that's like a really stupid fucking minor gripe, but I mean it does impact the gameplay somewhat. And it makes my time less enjoyable. Uh, another problem I had with this game was the fact that it would drop you in a battle and you had no way of knowing whether you would get a preemptive strike or you would have the option of just running away and not having any ca combat capabilities towards your opponent. There was no um, dialogue option that would indicate whether or not you would have this preemptive strike. Uh, and there's no way to really accurately figure out when you will get that preemptive strike. I found it was just fucking random. Some battles did, some battles didn't let you have it. And that is really fucking annoying to me. Um, and that is one of the major gripes that I have about this game and its combat system. Also, I wouldn't mind more di like uh, dialogue options within the dialogue system where you can like maybe order your archers to take out other archers or order archers to like do something cool like fucking take someone out. I've noticed that they've done that before where they've they've thought about it but didn't fucking fully implement it and that's that seems like a missed opportunity for a game that's basically about fucking killing people in the viking age. Um so yeah, that's uh th those are all my like major gripes. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, I hope you guys too, because I want more people to see this game. I I think games like these need to be highlighted, and good developers need to be highlighted, as well as the shitty ones. And that is uh, the main reason why I do these reviews, so that people can be aware of good developers and bad developers. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, if you want me to do some gameplay of this uh, game and put it on here, I will do that. Uh, just let me know. But I thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you.